Your Excellency, President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, Dr. William Ruto, His Excellency, Mr. Muhammad Kaswani, President of the Islamic Republic of Mauritania and Chairperson of the African Union, Your Excellency's Heads of State and Government, his Excellency, the Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Mr. Musafaki Muhammad, Ambassador Joseph Sako, the African Union Commissioner for Agriculture, Rural Development, Blue Economy and Sustainable Environment, Development Partners, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, I am honored to be addressing you at this important summit, which is reflective of the importance that we attach to the soil as a vital resource to stimulate agricultural productivity, to guarantee food security and sovereignty across our beloved African continent. Regrettably, low fertilizer use and the poor soil health continue to undermine sustainable agricultural production and productivity, particularly among our communal and smallholder farmers. This is compounded by climate change, inadequate infrastructure and mechanization. Hence, the need to deliberately support and increase investments in agriculture, particularly for women and the youth, cannot be overemphasized. It is unfortunate that despite the inherent potential Africa currently spends billions of dollars in food and fertilizer imports per year. Greater efforts must be made to leverage the availability of raw materials for the local production of mineral fertilizers and reduce our over-resilience and reliance on imports. Similarly, agriculture extension, communication, and education programs should be strengthened with regards to scaling up fertilizer consumption to reach the target of 50 kg per hectare. The African Development Bank is commended for setting up a fertilizer fund aimed at boosting local production of fertilizers as well as research, science, innovation, and technology development. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, Zimbabwe has not been spared from the adverse effects of climate change, with our sub-region currently experiencing an El Nino-induced drought. However, my government continues to implement the agricultural food systems and the rural transformation strategy, which, among other aspects, prioritizes improved policies, investment, finance, and markets for fertilizer and the soil health management. Additionally, Access to and affordability of organic fertilizers for sustainable soil management practices and interventions are being broadened. To date, Zimbabwe has made great strides in implementing a soil health based improvement in production and productivity of crops and livestock. Village-specific information on soil health 
is now available through improved mobility and ICT gadgets. Through such interventions, which were also encouraged by the Climate Smart Fumbuza in Twasa program, it's a Shona name, Zimbabwe realized food security and recorded surpluses in wheat over the last three consecutive years. My administration stands ready to broaden partnerships, synergies, and investments to enhance crop yields. Several opportunities exist for investors to set up new entities or partner with current local companies in Zimbabwe through either upgrading existing or introducing new technology to scale up fertilizer production in our country. Excellencies, distinguished guests, Zimbabwe endorses the Nairobi Declaration Soil Initiative for Africa Framework and the Africa Fertilizer Soil Health 10-Year Action Plan. It is, however, critically important for us to invest in strategic institutions mandated to provide the requisite leadership and mechanisms to meet our desired goals on the continent. As host to the African Center for Fertilizer Development, Zimbabwe notes that the center remains a critical cog in promoting research on soil health and fertilizer development. We thus welcome the commitment to fully operationalize and support this Africa Center for Fertilizer Development, which was the brainchild of our august body and whose strategic mandate is aligned with the agenda of this summit. In concluding, may I express my gratitude to the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, for warmly receiving us I also convey our heartfelt condolences to the government and the people of Kenya for the loss of lives due to the climate change induced devastating floods. Our prayers and sympathies are with you, my dear brother, during this difficult time. I thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Next, I would like to invite His Excellency Hakainde Hichilema, President of the Republic of Zambia.